Hey, fifth grade, this video should help with coordinate grid pages three and four in the packet. This page is a little bit different. The grid's a lot bigger, but other than that, the rules stay the same. Remember, your first number always tells you how far over, and your second number tells you how far up, and you use both of those numbers to make just one point on the grid. One thing that's different about this page and about page four is that it separated out your points into lines. For example, you see this is line one here. What that means is that we're going to take this first point, connect it to that point, and then connect it to that point. But then that's the end of this line, so we're gonna stop there. And then when we go to make line two, we'll go from this point to that point, and then we'll stop again because then we're on line three. So, to get started here, in this one, I'll be honest, it's kind of tricky. There's a lot of space in this grid. I usually just have to count some stuff. One other thing that's tricky is this first point is 0, 018. Sometimes students get confused when there's a zero in there. It's like, well, what do I do? The rules stay the same. Your first number tells you how far across you go, how far over. So if it's zero, you stay right there. The second number tells you how far up, 0, 18. So I don't go over at all. I go up 18. I'll put my point there at 0, 18. All right, there's my first point. My second point, 4, 15. I now need to go over 4 and then up 15. So go over 4 up 15 and it can be kind of tricky to see where exactly I need to go that looks right and then I always double check all right I'm definitely up 15 am I actually over four if I go down the line I am and I even made a little mark there I'll erase that my next point oh wait I almost forgot because these are lines right this is line one I need to connect my first point to my second point that's uh, not a perfect straight line, but it'll do for now. It's kind of hard to draw straight lines on the screen. Okay, our next point, 12, 17. Whoa, I need to go over a ways here. I need to go over all the way to 12 and up all the way to 17, which I'm going to have to kind of, oh, I got two of them. Sweet. All right, up 12, or sorry, over 12, right? We're doing 12, 17 over to 12, up to 17, okay, right there, cool. So, I believe that's where I had it. I'll double check, yep, up 17, over 12. Now I need to connect my line. That is definitely not a straight line, but sorry. Okay, we have now done line one. Cool, line one is finished. Now let's do line two. Also, if you think you got the hang of this, feel free to turn up this video and work on this your own. If you get confused later, you can always come back or keep hanging out while I do one more line. So line two is 16 comma seven. I need to go over 16, right? First number is 16, over to 16 and then up to seven. See where those two things meet together? Right there, okay. And that's where my point will be. Great, do a quick double check. Am I over 16? Yep. Am I up seven? Yes, okay. Next line is still over 16, and then it's up 11. Well, I know that's 16, seven, so I need to go over 16 again, and this time up 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Cool. And then I connect my line from 16, comma, seven to 16, comma, 11. All right, I've now started making my picture on here. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but good luck. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to send a message to your fifth grade teacher. Good luck, everybody.